Listen, prepare to see God's wrath, okay? Listen, God's wrath really is stemmed from the type of hurt and agony that God feels for all of the pain that you had to go through, from all of the pain that you had to endure. God saw it all because God was with you every single moment, every single spiritual attack, every single time that the enemy came into your life and sent not one, but multiple people to come after you and hurt you. God was with you the whole entire time. God was easing your pain in the moment because it could have broken you. But because God was present with you, that's why you still stood strong. You probably wondered, how is this not breaking me? How am I still standing strong? Because baby, God was standing right there with you. God allowed it to happen, but God had his hand over your heart like this. Like, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna destroy my child. You're not gonna kill my child. You're not even gonna touch my child. Now listen, I understand that in some situations, these people did touch you. These people did touch you, but let me tell you something. They may have touched you, but they didn't take you out. They may have talked a lot of stuff, but they won't take you out. God won't allow that to happen. So listen. But you know what? The people that touched you, that put their hands on you, <clears throat> God really wanted to see who these people truly are. It's like, look, this is my child. This is my child right here this is my daughter this is my son you gonna put your hands on my child now i'm gonna really see who you truly are now i know you have completely forsaken me now i know you completely do not have a relationship with me anymore because how can you not see the the divinity within this person how can you not see me living through them and if you can do this to my child what can you do to me so listen they set themselves up for failure. They dug themselves into a very deep hole. And they may look like right now, everything is fine. It may look like they are winning. It may look like they, you know, they, they stole from you. It may look like they just, they just got away with it. They did something to hurt you. It may look like they just got away with it. It may look like they're just going off living their, their, their merry lives. But let me tell you, what God's doing is God's just coasting. God's just like, I'm gonna just sit there and sit back and just let them think they got what's going on. But when they least expect it, when I unleash my wrath onto the, into their lives, it's over for them. Their life is going to go on a downward spiral, continuing to go down. Right when they get up high, I'm going to take them all the way down. Just wait. Just wait, because it's coming. Now listen, of course... Because of what these people have done to you, because of the money that they have stolen from you, because of the, all of the pain and trauma that they have caused you, because of all of the times that they have hurt you physically, emotionally, mentally, because of all of the pain that they have inflicted onto you, what your flesh wants to do is your flesh wants to seek revenge. Your flesh wants to avenge these people. Your flesh wants to match their energy. Your flesh wants to go off. Your flesh wants to do exactly what they did to you. Your flesh either wants to watch these people. It's like your flesh wants to see these people's downfall. Your flesh wants to see these people suffer. But remember who you are and remember whose you are. Baby, you're not like those people. Do not become these people that have hurt you. Do not become these people that have done you wrong. Do not become like these people that have stolen from you. Do not become like those devils, baby. Those people are devils. They're demons. Do not become like these people because remember that you are a child of the Most High God. You rise above it every time. When they say the turn of the cheek, you hold your head up high and you walk away. You don't deal with them in the flesh. When you deal with them in the flesh, it's a never ending battle. You got to deal with them in the spirit. You got to spread those angel wings and you got to flap your wings. You got to flap up. You got to come up here. You got to be up here. When you are up here on this high vibration, they cannot touch you. 
they cannot touch you. No matter how hard they try, they can't get up there where you are because they don't have wings. They don't have any wings. They move on the ground like a serpent. On their belly they shall crawl. Genesis 3, 8. Let me tell you. It may look like right now that everything that they done did to you, they got away with it. But they're not going to get away with it. They're not. Because God is getting ready to unleash all of his wrath, all of her wrath onto the people that have hurt you. Their lives are going to go in a downward spiral. Their lives are going to never be the same. And every single thing that they have done is going to come back to them 10 times worse. And at that point, they're going to think about all of the people that they have hurt and realize that this is exactly why they are in this position. But you stay out of the way. You stay out of the way. That's your job. Stay out of the way. Because when they karma comes, if you are in the crossfire, you're going to get hit too. That's why you got to stay out of the way, baby. You got to stay out of the way. Don't you get inside their karma. So let me share with you a few solutions on what we can do when we feel those heavy emotions and we want to just, and when those thoughts come, we got to remember that those are thoughts of our flesh. And we got to remember to step out of our flesh and step into our soul. When we step into our soul, we remember that we are divine, that we are fearfully and wonderfully made, that we are divinely protected, that God is within us and we will not fall, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper because our soul knows this. Because every single time in the face of all of this adversity, in the face of all of this hurt, harm, and danger, that we were always safe and protected the entire time. So we know that can't nothing happen to us. Nothing will not happen to us because God would not allow that to happen. Know that and understand that and walk in that confidence. Walk in that god confidence, knowing that God's not going to allow these people to come back into your life and hurt you. If these people are out of your lives right now, they're, con they're completely out of your lives. You don't have to worry about them anymore. What's going to happen is, of course, as you're healing, as you're healing from all of this pain, all of this stuff is going to come up. It's going to make you want to want to retaliate. You got to get out of those. Get out of that fleshly. Don't react with your flesh. Respond with your soul. So a few solutions. When those emotions come up, sit with them. Just sit with them, breathe through them, and then just allow them to pass. That's you responding. But if you were to react and all of a sudden you want to go grab your phone and you want to call this person up and you want to text them and you want to do something to piss them off, you're giving, them, you're giving away your power to them so that they know that they hurt you this much that you're going out of your way to hurt them back. Uh-uh. Don't give them your power. Because that's what they want. They want your power. But when you completely keep all of your power to yourself and you turn that pain into power because let me tell you something if that pain is your feeling if you throw it back on them you're giving them your power but if you take that pain and you turn the pain you transform it you alchemize it into positivity into wisdom it turns into power and now they're stepping stones and now you get higher you rise higher always vibrate higher i know it's difficult i know it's difficult but the outcome of you taking the high road is going to get you to your promised land. It's going to get you to this amazing, wonderful life. It's going to get you to the kingdom. It's going to be okay. Do not become like the people that have hurt you. Handle it the same way that Yahshua would handle it. The same way Jesus would handle it. The same way that God would approve of. God loves you.